day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Out of the body, period. If the and Holy the Spirit world. ain't with you, then God ain't with you. You see what I'm saying? And and if, 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 if the Holy Spirit ain't teaching you what, if, if the Holy Spirit ain't agreeing with what you being teach, then <laughs> let it go. <laughs> let it go. Well, you know what? I, 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 I know we got to get to the scriptures, but I'm going to say this. You know, the thing about it is, is what is our true purpose as a church? I mean, it seems to me that uh in the last 50 years it has gotten to be to to blow up bigger instead of spread out further spread so out. Like the building see like the buildings have gotten bigger mm -hmm. uh -huh. but the out but the outreach has gotten smaller yeah. so i mean so so i think we're we're not teaching and preaching and training people to go out that's not that's not our purpose in what we teach and how we teach it so they could go out and reach people uh -huh. we're trying to we teach in such a way that people just blow up within themselves uh -huh. and, and we and we have to build bigger seats bigger buildings and bigger and bigger and now we got campuses uh -huh. now we don't went from churches from homes uh -huh. to churches right? to campuses yes sir but 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 and these are all these are just the same folks that was already christians anyway just left one church and came over to your church uh -huh. so but the outreach as far as going out here and affecting come on. the world well, if you come over here to colonize a particular area uh -huh. then you got to change that whole environment to match your home country yes sir. you can't come in and change one building to yeah. match your home country yeah. and then everybody comes to that building while we're inside of there is just like our home country but then oh, yeah. when we leave out of the building we don't go out and try to change nothing in that yeah. new area that we've been implanted in well, to colonize it that's don't happen it right there that's it in a nutshell because uh brother hill it's it's sad that everybody is trying to build a uh a, a congregation uh -huh. It's about building up the congregation uh -huh. instead of building out, building up workers to go out and, and, and reap the heart. So uh, I think even in our conversation, we kind of we kind of exemplify where, where we're kind of missing the point. It's, it's Christ's work. He God can finish it by faith. He is the He is the one who initiated, or the Father initiated the, the plan of salvation for His people. Come on. Come on. So we, we've taken the focus off of him in 714 when he does put it back. Well, I mean, it's a pretty straightforward, yeah. you know, uh, instruction. It's just, we are so creative in our thought that we just, we, we sidestepped a lot. Right. Like, a lot of people would call by my name and humble themselves and pray and uh -huh. seek my face in terms right. of their way. It's like, he's there to direct his program. We just don't listen to him and we don't seek his guidance. We don't focus on him. We're not trying to disciple people to Christ. We're right. trying to disciple them to a religion or to our Come on. Come on. Right. This, and then the only the only service that they're doing in the community, they're bringing them food, you know, and 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 books, you know, notepads for school, clothes and stuff like that. All external activities are being done when our job is internal. Internal. We are to affect the spirit. Come on now. Not the flesh. So right. we're out, we're out, you know, giving giving fleshly goods instead of spiritual goods. Come on. Right. It's, it's just flipped. And we've been sent to preach the gospel, right? I mean Thank you. the playbook, like Brother uh, Hill was saying, and, and Brother Jackson just brought up, we have the playbook. We gotta stay with the playbook. And the state of the playbook is remember, without him, you can do nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah. nothing. And we have to teach the saints, you got to walk in the authority of Christ. You got to walk in the authority that God gave him to give to us. And we have to keep pushing that because, see, look, that warfare is real. Yeah. That warfare is real. And, and every saint, when you walk out of the building of a church, when you walk out of your prayer room, you go into a spiritual battle. And if you don't know how to operate and go through your chain of command, 
which is only the Holy Spirit, Christ Jesus, the Father. If, if we ever lose focus of that, if that's what we have done, then we can't walk in that authority. Now, now, Brother Jackson, just to bring that up, because that's the focus for us, those who will listen to this video, those who will listen to you individually, is the point to walk in authority and understand you have to go by his authority. Go ahead, Brother Jackson. Out of Matthew, chapter, chapter 8, chapter chapter verse 5. Yes, sir. Talking about the faith of a centurion. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Come on now. For well, I am a man under authority, well, having soldiers under me. And I say this to that man, go, and he goeth. And to another, come, and he cometh. Uh -huh. And to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. Yes, sir. One sec. When Jesus heard it, he marveled he and said unto them that followed, Verily, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith no not in israel and i say unto you that many shall come from the east and west yes sir. and shall sit down with abraham well, and isaac and yes, jacob uh, in the kingdom of heaven amen yes, but the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness well there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth well and jesus said unto the centurion go thy way and as thou hast believed so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in the self same hour. All right, before we go to the next one, the whole point is Jesus marveled. Jesus said that Joseph got it. Mm -hmm. That man understood the authority and that comes. It. And he, and you know, we of us who are retired from the military, we also understand the power of authority. Many of them have used it. Even in a family structure, somebody would say, mom said, dad said, <clears throat> right? It's the authority that we have to teach every individual of the, of the body of Christ. You must walk under the authority, or in, excuse me, in the authority that is given to you through Christ. Under is a good word too. I know. I think, I think it really I is. I Say that again. El, uh, under, uh, under, is, under is a good word because you're not submitted. You don't have no authority. I, I, yeah. Well, walk well you do have authority that's been given you. He's because one thing that I that I that I've been noticing in this scripture is he first starts <laughs> off by saying, "I am a man under authority." Under authority. Uh -huh. yeah. So I understand Woo. what to do. <laughs> what I'm told to do and likewise huh? I have authority uh -huh. from the person who I'm under authority yes sir so when I say uh -huh. <laughs> dude, when, when Jesus spoke it it, it happens uh -huh. so that that I never really looked at uh -huh. Jesus noticed how the man understood authority yes sir Jesus called it faith. Come on now. He did, didn't he? There is a, when he <laughs> talked, he said, there's one scripture that says there's but one power, and that power is God. Yes, sir. The power is just the ordinance of God and receives it to the self damnation. Right. He looked at Pilate and told him, he said, you have no power of me except to be given to you from above. Yes, sir. And Jesus understood, and I think where we as a people sometimes fail is that we don't understand the, the concept of power. And, and how you actually access whatever power there is, it, it has to come from above. There is no authority that's generated of yourself. Yes, sir. Uh, you have to have authority from someone right. that's above you. Right. So when we think about walking in the authority of Jesus Christ, yes, sir. It's to submit, it says submit yourself therefore unto the Lord and resist the devil. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So there's a prerequisite to all of our actions or all of our demonstrations of authority. Right. 
and that's a submission to whatever power it is that's over us. Come on now. Whether we be serving the devil, uh, which is some power, yeah, because God has allocated him a certain amount of, of, of power. Right. To be God himself. Right. Uh, but we have to be in, in a position of submission in order to actually uh, exercise that authority. That is something that the guy shot the dude seven times in the back, but he didn't have the authority to kill him. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He did have the authority. Our justice system has given him that authority. Uh, the that union, the, the police I, union has given them that authority. And the what God of this at, world has given them that authority. And he, well, he has, has the authority, authority to do it. Their, their, they exercised their, they, 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 they perpetrated their yeah, act, the authority, but yeah. they, were not, they were not successful. Yeah. And they had to be an acting guy. They were not successful in the sense that you don't shoot people in the back seven times and they don't die. Right. So they had the ability to shoot him, but they didn't have the authority to kill him. And that's the same. Amen. You look at what Amen. That's, that's a good word. Yeah. That is a good word there. Yeah. And that is the word that I think we have to begin to rely on. Elsewise, we start to retaliate in ways that's not going to really align us with the Father. We right. can't operate the way that they do because we can't access his, his power and his authority by doing that. Right. And guys, he, this man intent was to destroy this man's life. But our God said, no, no, I'm going to show you how that ain't going to work. Uh, there was one scripture, I'm going to it said that don't put your, your faith in horses and chariots. He told David that. Uh -huh. told, because your horses and chariots don't, uh, uh, won't acquire you no more than God has already allocated you. Right. So you don't have to have anything but a stone and a swing, and you can take down giants. We don't have to fight these guys. And I think that the, 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 the thing that kind of has become more and more evident yeah, is that as long as we align ourselves with God, it said, if God before you, who can be against you? Yes, sir. And, and I think that is the thing that we. If we can focus there, uh, if we can focus on bringing ourselves into alignment with God, regardless of how crazy it seems at the time, but sometimes turning the other cheek really don't seem to be the thing that's really going to make a difference. But it shows our submission to our God. Yes, and sir. And the ability to act in such a manner that he's going to get the glory out of whatever goes down. Well, you know, of God, you can't. You, you can't. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know too many people that can just turn the other cheek. It's, it's yeah, a whole deal. It's a whole. God. You know, there are some people who are just that that uh wimpy that they they they're not gonna turn it, but they'll just accept it. Accept it. You right. know, because because I mean they're just they're just that weak. Right. But, uh you you said a lot, Elder, and the, the fact of the matter is we got to we, we got to know the authority yes, sir. that we have. And, and, and as long as, as we have if we have that knowledge and we believe, right? We believe what we have received, then that's when we walk in that authority. Yes, that sir. centurion believed. Come on now. Come on. That and if Jesus said his servant be healed, that on. his servant will be healed. Yes, sir. So if we believe that our God shall make sure that no weapon formed against us prosper. shall prosper, Come on. if you believe that, Come on now. you will walk in that authority. Come on now. And if, if the reason I want to throw that in there, let's, let's break that, that scenario gap down and just line up with what Elder was saying and what the scripture was saying. The reason I said the, the recognizing of under authority is that he recognized that there's a power that he got to submit to, like you said, Elder. But I also want you to understand is that he was in the authority because he was in the military. He was in the Roman Empire as a representative under authority. God is saying is that we must abide in him. Amen. You know what scripture said? If you be in Christ, yes. Yes. if you are heir, right? Well, you want to be in him under his authority, operating under his authority. It's right. You have to be submitted. But God is also telling me you got to dwell in it. You got to be in it. You got to be part of the kingdom. 
and operate under the authority, like you said, the submission part, but you gotta be in it. That's what John 15 said, you must abide in him, right? 